I will Northside have to reroute history? It's a question the community has been asking for weeks now as organizers continue efforts to preserve the traditional 4th of July parade route. Now we first reported on the issue last month when organizers told us they needed to get more police officers to work detail and more community volunteers to sign up. WCPO 9 News reporter Valerie Lyons is live in Northside. Valerie, you spoke with one of the parade chairs today. She says there are some updates. Yeah, Becky Finnegan says the community's really helped to step up and bring in more funds and manpower, but that still isn't enough if the city doesn't give the green light. And Finnegan says with now less than a month to go, they really don't have much more time to wait. So we're here again. We're talking again after a few weeks. What's changed? So we've had some successful negotiations with the city. That's big because Becky Finnegan says it's been a challenging few months. The cost of detail has gone up. The cost of the permit has gone up. The cost of public services has gone up. Finnegan first told me about the issue back in May, walking me down Hamilton Avenue, where historically <laughs> the 4th of July parade route has spanned a mile and a half from the top of Northside to the bottom. So far, we know we have three officers sign up for the detail. But if the route is going to stay the same, Finnegan says part of those successful negotiations with the city was limiting detail down to 16 from 21. So we're really hoping that the city gives us the green light to use the full route because that's something we're still waiting on. And while they wait, local tattoo artist Brandon Durbin has inked up his own way to help. So I chose the paw print because I'm a big animal lover. I love dogs. But what is the significance of this to Northside? So this one in particular has the CAC, which stands for Cincinnati Animal Care. They do a lot for the community, and they're one of our bigger supporters. Supporters who want to preserve tradition. I have people booked appointments asking for these yep. designs. Yep. Ballpark, how many? Um, I've got three already. So, which is pretty good for posting something within 24 hours. A Northside series drawing on the community's quirks and staples with 20% of the proceeds routing over to the parade fund. It'll be nice to like contribute a little bit as I can. And you know, a lot of the other businesses have chipped in too. Mm -hmm. So I feel like it's just us doing our due diligence to keep Northside the way we want it. And so far, the community's already helped to raise 12 grand. So while they do their part, Finnegan says she's hoping the city can do the same. We're moving forward optimistically because we have no other choice. We can't delay the planning any further. Now Finnegan says this year they've had over 70 volunteers sign up. Typically with these parades, they get maybe around 10. Now, coming up at 6, I'll have more on what the city has to say about the parade and where things stand less than a month out. For now, live in Northside, Valerie Lyons, WCPO 9 News.